think we're live. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are live. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. And welcome. Hey, it's Happy Friday. My name is Maris, and I've got the Sacred Earth Oracle deck in my hand right now, and we're going to do a weekend energy forecast. Uh, what do we got going on here at the Oklahoma Healing Connection? Saturday is Father's Day, so we're going to be doing Reiki at the Lake. 8 a.m., that's when I'm going to be there. Um, 8 a.m., yeah, 9 a.m. was too late for me. Um, so I'm going at 8 a.m. So if you don't have to be there in person, you can watch it later on uh, YouTube or Facebook. Um, or you can watch it live on Facebook as it happens. But, okay, and I'm like, hmm. You got down, no, because I don't know. So, uh, anyway, uh, so that's what's going on. And then Tuesday night, from 5.30 to 8.30, I have the Ionic Foot Detox. <clears throat> it's 35 for the short session, and then the long session is 50, I think. Thir yeah, 35 and 50. Uh, and then it's um, in cash. Uh, if you prepay, um, you can save $10 and using that on Venmo or Cash App when you schedule or reserve your spot or spots because we can um, do up to four detoxes at one time. So if you and your friends want to come in and do a detox after work instead of cocktail happy hour, you know, um, you know, I'm there to serve. So Anyway, um, I'm going to shuffle these and see if something comes flying out. I mean, come on, talk to me. Okay. They're not saying a damn word. So um, I'm switching over to another deck, and let's just see if it starts talking. Okay, almost. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of strange. I'm like, hey, why are you not talking? I mean, nothing was coming out, so I'm like, okay. So got one, it's the weekend energy forecast. Come on, let's see what's going to happen this weekend. What do I need to prepare for? What do you need to prepare for? What do you got going on this weekend? There's that one. Okay, almost. Okay. Two, three, four. Okay, that one stuck out. Okay. All right, so we're going to roll with these three right here. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, you, look, you saw that look in your, my face, and you're like, oh, gosh, what is she, like, tripping about? And I'm not, like, really tripping, but um, I don't know. It's like when I read tarot cards, and, I, and the first, you know, and they start showing up upside down, I'm like, oh, it kind of, like, makes me think of, like, what? What are they going to be talking about? And so if we think about what this is in the upright, it's, you know, let's talk about people sharing and coming together. Okay, but when I look at it like that, um, and I just get a feeling like it was, you know, in the past. Um, so I'm getting like kind of like reminiscing or some nostalgia there. So. It's like bittersweet nostalgia, thinking about the old days, the old times. the, You know, and sometimes, and this is probably the strong thing that I'm getting in right now, is that, um, you know, a lot of times we'll be in a relationship or in, you know, in a relationship. Now, relationships don't always mean romantic. We can have work relationships. We can have family relationships. We can have a relationship like with a neighbor next door. Um, you know, anything to that effect. But So this is kind of like looking at relationships. And in relationships often, when we haven't seen them for a while or we just stop talking or whatever, we can go through a little bit of bittersweet nostalgia. And that's what I'm getting here. This is kind of like looking back on things and wondering, you know, when did things change? When did, when did this all change? When did things... When did we stop being friends or being together? And so then the next card that comes up is the um, Ten of Cups. Uh, and 
Ah, uh, you know, like upside down, it looks like it would almost be the, and I'm just getting kind of like good times, good memories. When you look back on things, um, let's go, you know, putting it back in the original position it was in. Um, what I'm getting in here is that when you look back on the past and we're not going to be really upset about things, you know, in fact, there's a lot more happy memories then there are negative memories and that um, those negative memories uh, can fade, can fade away. You know, they're just, they just don't have any importance to you. Uh, and I noticed that I'm like, dang, every single one of these is an upside down card. So when I'm, you know, going, kind of sitting here going, what in the world um, is the deal here? Uh, I'm, I'm getting it's kind of like a, a, a low-key kind of energy and here is like this essence of escape um, not meaning like division but escape is it you I don't know no no and I'll tell you the, what I get in here is like looking back on relationships that we've had in the past and going oh yeah love that person and I'm going to love them afar from afar um, but I'm in a good place that we're not intricately involved anymore that's the energy that I get through here when I look at these cards and looking at that last one so you know kind of looking at that sequence Cheyenne you know it starts out here with this nostalgia thinking about the past and going, oh, yeah, the good old days, yeah. Uh, and you're in, and I'm feel, feeling like there's a strain to find anything that's really negative, but not that it's impactful with the negativity through there. It was something that made you look at things in a different perspective or, you know, something to that effect through there. But you have some pretty positive memories and going back to that and then when this falls into the last one that's where I'm talking about you know um, I still love you and I still care about you but I can do it from afar um, I respect you I honor you but I can do it from afar I don't have to be in your space in order for you to know that I love and care about you as a human being you know, we can, I can be off on my own. And that's the message that's through there when I'm looking at it. The overall uh, taught me love from afar. Yeah, we can love people from afar. I love a lot of people from afar. And, you know, and I'm, I feel like I'm a good person and they're a good person. But when we're together, we don't make good people. You know, and that's okay to acknowledge that. That's okay to respect that. It's okay to roll with that and knowing that I can love from afar. I can respect you from afar. I don't need to be in your business. You know, um, you don't need to be in my business from afar. You know, um, that's the, a, a great lesson to learn. You know, it's like, I don't carry animosity for anybody in my past, and I don't carry any animosity for anybody in my present. I just know that I can love you from afar. I don't need to be in your cheese, and you don't need to be in my cheese, and we'll be just fine. That's this message through here. Um, and I'm thinking, you know what, it's Father's Day, and sometimes people don't have a really good relationship with their father. And I'm like, like it or not, that's still your bio parent, okay? You are still energetically connected in with that. But you can love and honor that connection from afar. And I think that's really kind of what it's talking about, is that you don't have to put yourself through any kind of misery to be honoring the fact that somebody is your father. You can love them or love that concept from afar. Peace, love, harmony. Have a good weekend. Be safe.